Hey folks, I'm going to show you how to create a route on Strava. All right, so I've logged into Strava.com and it's free to sign up, so that makes it nice. And if I go to Dashboard, there's a section called My Routes. And if you click on that, you, well, if you've created routes, you'll see that. You probably won't uh, if this is your first route, but there's a nice big orange button here that says Create New Route. So you click on that, and creating a route is fairly simple. Um, it gives you a map, and I suggest you kind of start near your house or maybe an area that you particularly like. And what it allows you to do is draw your route directly on the map. So um, I have it set up to do a ride, and I'm just going to click on a point, and that's my starting point. And now I have use popularity turned on, which helps the the Strava route map basically know mm, where do bicyclists usually go on a route. So as I start clicking different areas along the road, it snaps to the roads, but it will also snap to trails and things like that. So if I wanted to, I can go around and just kind of click on different areas. It starts putting the points in for me. And What's nice is, if you notice down here, it shows me my distance so far. It shows me how much elevation gain or how many feet I would have to climb to go on this route. It gives me an estimate. I don't find that estimate to be all that accurate <laughs> for me. It tends to be a little bit, um, um, I don't know. In some cases, on the flats, it tends to be conservative, and then on the hills, it tends to be very... Um, inspiring <laughs> but not necessarily realistic so it, it usually takes me longer if I've got a big hill but if you turn elevation on you also get to see okay you know if I'm climbing at a certain point on this ride and they'll have this little blue line to show you where on this elevation uh, graph you are so if I go back here you can see you know this is the top of Hicks Road for example and I can see that wow there's some 15% grade is, is a pretty steep section. Um, so I know I'm in for a, a long, steep climb. My, my, like my speed is going to go down to probably something like 5 miles an hour at this point. But on the flats, I might be you know closer to uh, 16, 17, 18 miles an hour, so on average. All right, so once you've kind of drawn your route and say it's a loop, you can just loop it right back to the beginning and when you've kind of drawn that route uh, you just click save give it a name um, uh, and save it then you'll be able to go and find it in your routes here, I'll let you edit it and everything. If you want to go and see all your routes, you'll head up here. But that's basically how you create a route. So I'm going to add a few more things in here that I, that I missed in the original recording. So one, I want to show you, you can edit these routes and, and how you can do that. So the route has these little white points that you can control and also move. So after you've laid down a point, and maybe Strava didn't put it exactly on the route that you want, you can come in and edit it. So I'm going to zoom in. I just use my scroll wheel. And let's say I don't like to go on Almaden Road at this point. Or even if you notice here, there's kind of this weird like backtracking section. So what you can do is just grab these little white dots. And those are control points that let you adjust where uh, the path is, is going. Um, and we're going to take this uh, up into the neighborhoods up here Let's see if it can we can straighten this route out a little bit there we go all right so it did make some suggestions on where to turn and i think that's fine um, but you can kind of see my point about being able to adjust these little waypoints along the way um, some other tools in here, uh, you can change whether you've got like a standard 
I, I think this is actually one of the best maps ways, so I don't usually uh, change that. But you can also turn on a heat map that I think is really helpful, as well as bike lanes. Uh, now that might be a much, you might need to um, only have one of those on at a time. But the heat map shows you some of the most popular routes that cyclists go. So the more red, the more co the more common that route is for a cyclist to go on. Um, and that's that's a good sign. I think in the city you, you can kind of see which, which routes people commute the most on. Um, you can clearly see all the, the big major routes that people like to go into the woods um, for and some of the big climbs. So this is a really nice way to just find out um, good routes that cyclists like to do a lot because you know cyclists are picky. They don't, they're not going to go. They're not going to go on a, a bad route or a bad bad road um, uh, if uh, they they want a good ride. All right. Other things on here, it'll give you a cue sheet, um, it, climb category. This just helps you. You know if it's if it's a hill climb category, that's the highest. They're uh, incredibly difficult. Category one is very difficult as well. Fours are even difficult. Um, so don't be un, don't underestimate some of these like these threes and fours that are in here. Um, those are those are steep climbs. So anyway, um, turn that off and then uh, well this probably is not useful. All right. So uh, that's a little bit more about using the Strava Route Builder. Um, there you go.